We have just seen that writing the commands you need for your project in a do file is a very important step in organizing your work and making it replicable by your fellow researchers. However, just having your codes organized in a do file like the one I'm opening here with the command do edit and do remember, Stata is case sensitive, so having your codes organized here is not enough. Because as the complexity of your analysis increases, your do file is just going to get larger and larger and your codes will get longer and harder to understand. So if you want to make your work clear and readable by others, it's essential to add comments and sometimes line breaks. Breaks to your code. So for this topic, I have prepared a do file for you to download. If you haven't downloaded yet, just pause the video, download this file and come back here. Now that you have downloaded your do file, let's delete these two phrases are written here. And this is my project, the folder I created should be my state of folder. And this is the do file you should have downloaded. So you should have this do file now in your computer. Let us go back to Stata. And let's open our do file editor clicking here in the toolbar. And now we want you to open that do file just downloaded using the toolbar here in the do file editor. Just click here, open file. Choose your, your folder, mine is here. And here is our do file. And before I go through the do file, let me just increase the size of the, the font because it's kind of small. We can do that by clicking on edit, preferences, editor font. And I want to increase it to size 16. Let me apply it. Press OK. Great. So in this do file, just like in any other do file, we have line numbers to the left, which you can't really see here. I don't know why. Well, one, two, three, and then you're missing the one here. And in my do file, I first add, added a header. It's something I think all do files should have. It's just a way to organize your work. And a couple observations. The first one, as you probably noticed, there's a lot of text here that's in green. Green is the standard color for status comments. So everything that you see here it, that is in green is a comment. And also that Stata will print the comments you run as commands, but will not execute them. Since it's a comment, you know, even if you have a command, let's say you have the command uh, clear all here. If I want to turn this command into a comment, all I have to do, you know, one of the ways we can do it is to add an asterisk in front of it. So now it's green. That means that if I execute this and I can do it as I showed you in the last video, just selecting it. Let me, let's see what's going on in the background. So I selected this command and I pressed do. See, it runs the command, not as a command, but just as a comment, as you would expect. Let's go back here. I will delete this. And let me show you the ways in which you can add comments. And the first way I just showed you is to add one single asterisk, asterisk or many asterisks like I did here. But they have to be in the beginning of a line. Meaning that in the beginning of a line or even if you add spaces, nothing's going to change. So that means that if I get this asterisk over here and add it, let's say in the middle of this word, this is not going to be a comment. So we come back here and add the asterisk where it should be, which is in the beginning of our, our comment. The second way you can use to add comments is to add two forward slashes. And unlike the asterisk, if you add two forward slashes, you can actually do this after a command, which is a good way to explain what the command does. In this example here, we have the command clear all. You can just delete this comment here. And let's say you have your, you are writing your do file and you want to explain other people what clear all does. So you can just say, I use this command to clear status memory. So here you are, I have a comment and let me show you that. If you run this, Let's use our toolbar over here. Great. 
So the command clear always executed and then it's going to show your comment right here on the right hand side. But still the command was executed. Back to our do file editor and let me undo what I did. So here's an example of adding a comment after a command. We use the command sys use auto and then we just comment that this is a way to open the auto data set. And then the last way to add a comment and this is the way you, which you can use to add multi-line comments is to use a forward slash and an asterisk when you're opening your comment and then another asterisk followed by a forward slash to end your comment. And you can do that in different lines and everything you write in between is going to be a comment. So let me give you an example. If I move this over here, everything in between these two forward slash and asterisk, asterisks is going to be a comment, even this command over here. And if I put it back in place here, it was here, then here you have your command back. So there's, these are the three main ways to write comments. Choose an asterisk, two forward slashes, or a forward slash followed by an asterisk and closed by with an asterisk followed by a forward slash. And finally, we're, let's talk a little bit about line breaks. Sometimes you have very long commands like this one. This is all one command. And I'm adding three forward slashes in the middle of the command to work as a line break. That means that if I run this command like this, let's see here. Well, first I have to open the data set. So let me do that. Select the data set, press Control D. And now let me drop the extra variables that I don't want by selecting this. And once again, let me use this here now. Okay, so you can see it works. And just another option is you can run everything at once. You can either select it with your mouse or press Control A, Control D, and here you have your code was executed all at once. So let's go back to our do file. And the main objective of this video was to show you that using comments is just very important to keep your work organized so that you're able to share it and sometimes reuse parts of your code. So you should see the extra time you take adding all these comments, not as wasted time, but as an investment that will pay off and save time and fewer communication problems later on. So every time you write a do file, you should try to add some comments and, and tell other people what you're doing in each of these commands or at least most of them.